so you can see it is again starting the the project creation now it is creating a react type at my home inside my folder okay with the folder name react wsl so you can see now project is created successfully and it is saying that yarn start to run it starts the development server yarn build for building and yarn trust for running the test cases okay and yarn yarn eject for removing the tool to copy build something something okay so we are not going to run that so first we will do cd and then react wsl and hand enter and now we are inside the project folder and now here i will run yarn start for starting this project and let's wait you can see now it has opened the opening the the react application in the browser in the default browser you can see here it has automatically started the browser and the react application is running here okay so we can now stop it by pressing ctrl c okay now the server is stopped and we can just put it enter here ls so this are the these are the files okay so here we can we can also let me try if it opens the visual studio code for this let's see okay now you can see here it didn't found uh, find the visual studio code inside the ubuntu therefore it is installing or the first thing it is downloading the vs code from the server and then it will open this uh, the code in the inside the visual studio code okay you can see here it automatically installed the vs code in wsl version of ubuntu and it has also brought here the files what it has created so you can see inside the source we can find the file okay yeah it is it is yeah here it is the files okay react application so let me go here in the terminal and here we can use ubuntu wsl ubuntu to to run the programs let me just close this or exit from this terminal okay and here i will click on terminal but it is not opening the terminal you can see here okay and here we can see the installed applications in wsl so here i will click on linux apps okay and it will show the applications for ubuntu server here Okay, there are only only two programs installed on Ubuntu. Okay, so we can also so let me let me run the terminal once again. Okay, so it is very very slow. You can see here it is opening the terminal here in. Okay, let me close it first. You can see here it is opening the terminal here. The bash. Okay, yeah. You can see here it has opened here. The, okay, so we can also run the uh, run it from here. Okay, it has opened two bash, so I need only one. Yarn start for starting the server. So it will run the. The application as expected, so let me first win read this. So yeah, I just need only one. So it is, it it has basically uh, done my machine very very slow responsive. So you see here, it is running very very slow now. Once I have started the VS Code in the WSL version, uh, I don't know the main reason for this, but maybe in the in 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 few after few minutes it will be the normal the performance will be normal so yeah 
let's see so you can see project is now compiled successfully so we can start here by just clicking on this url and it should open it in the default browser okay so you can see it is now opening in the new tab so let me close the earlier one so yes you can see the react app is running so like this you can install the node package manager and node okay and you can also create the react application on the ubuntu wsl okay so that's all right now for this video thank you guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you